it is that time again where we have to declutter our makeup stash. So grab a drink because this is gonna take a while uh, and let's just jump into it. I think it might be a little bit echoey in here right now. I changed up my studio quite a lot as you guys know if you follow my vlogging channel. So excuse that but I can't really do anything about it. Maybe I should add like a carpet in here. So as you guys know, if you've seen my other decluttering videos, I have a lot of makeup and I get sent a lot of makeup and I try out and review a lot of makeup. So I own a lot of makeup and uh, I'm very grateful for everything that I get, but makeup uh, turns bad and I have to throw it away because of that or I don't like it a product personally or I just have to make room for new things or it's discontinued or whatever. There's a lot of reasons why I need to declutter my makeup collection and also I have a lot of it because that is my job. And you might think that it is over excessive and uh, not great but that is a whole other <laughs> issue that I'm not gonna get into. Um, the uh, products that I am taking out of my collection, I will either go give away to friends or family or I will actually just give it away to like my neighbors. I'm just gonna put it in a big pile <laughs> and say like, here's some used makeup if you want it, go get it. But I will not give away things like mascaras and stuff like that or if it's really really old obviously, I do not want to give anyone like a bad reaction or a I don't know, something like that. So when we have that out of the way, <laughs> um, if there's any more questions, just comment down below. Here is my makeup drawers. These are two um, Alex drawers that everybody has. And I love them because they fit perfectly and I could just close these ones and you can't see them. <laughs> but they are packed. And when I say packed, there are some of these drawers. Oh, you guys are gonna see as it's not even fun and I'm just getting anxious opening them. Nine drawers here, nine drawers here, and then I have some nail stuff right there. And then I have eyeshadow palettes right here. Maybe we should start with the eye palettes actually. <laughs> I'm not gonna get rid of any of the uh, nail stuff because that's not the issue here. <laughs> the makeup is the issue part. So just gonna put these to the side a little bit. So let's just go ahead and go through these eyeshadow palettes. I like most of these, I'm gonna say, but I need to <laughs> declutter some of them because I just don't know what I have back here and I want to be able to use them uh, easier. I'm just gonna show you guys some of them that I already know that I'm going to keep. And that is... Whoa. That is the Trixie Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. I absolutely love these. I think they, they are so cute, the packaging, and I really like the colors of them. But uh, I also want to create some sort of better um, system so I can actually see my palettes. Um, I wonder if I should get like one of these like these ones, if you know what I mean. Maybe that would work. Uh, so I could have like some of them like up here standing. I don't know, we'll see. But these ones I'm gonna keep. Let's see, where should I put them? Whoa. <laughs> I was gonna take out the Anastasia palettes, but I think I have to start here before that because everything is going to fall if I don't. Ah. I'm going to fix a little thrown away bag. Hello? Sorry. <laughs> so here we have a little plastic bag. I am just gonna put everything that I'm removing, either if I'm giving it away to like strangers 
or if I'm giving it out to uh, family and friends. I'm just gonna put everything here and then after this video, I will just go through everything. Here is a, I think it's a Swedish brand called Odin's Eye. This is the Elva palette. I'm gonna be honest, this is like really, really cute shades. And even though the shades are very unique, I feel like I kinda still have them, so. This one I'm for sure going to give away someone. Then we have the Trixie Cosmetics Breakup Palette. This is the only one that is shaped differently than the other ones that I put here on the floor. As you guys saw, and uh, the colors, very confusing for like a, a Valentine's collection and for Trixie as well. Do not like, so this one I'm giving away. So here we have the Lime Crime palettes that you guys know I used to be obsessed with. We have the Venus 2, love these shades. The Venus 1 that is very broken. We have the Venus Vivid, so pretty. I've like never used this though. Should I like swatch some of them? Okay. And then we have the Venus Immortals, which is a really cool like gray tone palette will i like ever use these i don't know but it's just something like nostalgic about them so i kind of have to keep them <laughs> we have the revolution beetlejuice palette that i really liked actually i don't know why but i'm like kind of against small palettes because i don't like storing them <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna get rid of this the ColourPop Winx Club, really cute, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Here we have some Gloss Gods palettes, um, the new Gloss Gods palette from uh, Miss Vanity Vane that I'm gonna keep. I love this orange one. We have the Them palette. This is a palette made by a Swedish influencer called Sara Sungbird. We have the Litchi eyeshadow palette by another Swedish influencer, Brow Felicia, one of my friends. I really love the way that this is more of a cool toned palette. Then we have these two that is like filled with glitters and I am not super into these sorts of glitters, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now we can get rid of the Anastasia palettes and as you guys can see, I have a lot of them. I don't even know if all of them are still available. Maybe I should look that up. Uh, we have Cosmos, one of their latest launches. It's cute, it's not something spectacular. I still really like it and Anastasia Beverly Hills is like one of my favorite brands for eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadows in general. We have the, uh, what is this called? Nouveau? No, not for me. We have the Rose Metals, really cute. We have the Primrose, I really don't like that they have these two big shades. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. I have to be tough about this, like you can't keep everything, every neutral brown eyeshadow palette. We have the Sultry. These are like their old school palettes and I love them the most. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I'm gonna keep it. So we have the Alyssa Edwards, I really like this one. The Norvina palette, I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Then we have the one and only Soft Glam. I love this palette. The subculture that like broke the internet. <laughs> I stood by this palette through all of the uh, heat that it got. I love this palette so, so much. As you guys can see, I've used it so much. It's like one of my most used palettes and so many of you guys, or not you guys, but so many people hated this. We have the Ambrisi. I think that was a influencer, right? No. And another like go to this modern renaissance, you guys that get it, you get it. Or for those of you that remember the hype around this. Will I like use it that much now? No, but it's not like I'm gonna get rid of it. We have the person, like my hair. I don't know if you can tell, but my hair has faded so weirdly. <laughs> you guys know just like a few weeks ago, I dyed my hair pink and green and it's so faded already. And I don't know if you can tell, but the person is like, still uh, visible right here. 
yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I really do not think that they still sell this. Then we have the Riviera that I also really liked, but I'm just not gonna go for it. This one, I don't even know what it's called, but no, I'm gonna get rid of it. So these are the only Anastasia pelts that I'm gonna keep. I kinda wanna, excuse me. <laughs> What is my tripod doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm. Then we have a lot of the Linda Haberg palettes. And I love Linda Haberg cosmetics. And I love Linda Haberg. But I'm gonna be honest, I just hate small palettes. <laughs> I just do. But of course, I'm not gonna like get rid of them just because they're small. We have some more Linda Halberg. This I don't even think is available anymore, but this is like one of my favorite pelts from them. This is also Linda Halberg. Love it. This is a Gloss Gods palette that I forgot, but I am of course going to keep this one. This is made by another influencer, Spindelsen. This one also really cute. And these two, I don't understand why Linda Halberg has not kept doing these sorts of palettes because I like them a lot more. I appreciate these a lot better than these small ones, but I'm still gonna keep them, okay, I am. We have a Trixie palette that I'm gonna get rid of. Kimchi the Happy palette. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. The Clueless Chairs Wardrobe. I actually love this palette but I'm just not gonna go for it when I have so many others. The Barbie palette, really cute. And this, for some reason, I kind of like more. It might just be because it's new and I just love the Barbie theme. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna keep these two Barbie palettes for at least a little while. I actually really, really like this one. Uh, we have the Candy Shop from Juvia's Place. One of my favorite favorite palettes ever. So I'm gonna keep that for sure. We have another backup of my own eyeshadow palette. Look at that. We have another Beetlejuice Revolution. Pretty cute shades, but I'm just not gonna go for it and I hate how small the eyeshadows are. Ooh, we have Anastasia Norvina collection. This is really cute, but I'm just not gonna go for it. We have a mini soft glam. Should I get rid of this? No, I'm gonna keep it. That's how much I love the Anastasia palette. We have a ColourPop, uh, two of them. These are pretty cute, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them. We have two of the Sugar Pill palettes. For some reason, I just love Sugar Pill. <laughs> I kinda have to keep these. We have the, the Body Shop palette. This one, and we have this one. I have to look it up because I kind of feel like they are discontinued. That's also something that I should really look up if anything is discontinued. Maybe I will do that afterwards and just write it right here. Also, if any of the uh, makeup brands have gone non-cruelty-free, as you guys know, I haven't said because I feel like you guys already know, but I only use cruelty-free makeup. And if a brand starts selling in China or uh, starts testing on animals, I don't wanna, I don't want anything to do with them. Even though I know that the China laws has been a little bit iffy right now, but I still feel a little bit weird about it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm not against it if uh, things happen, you know? We have a Rem Beauty. No. <laughs> we have a NYX Professional Makeup. Ooh, Ultimate Shadow Palette. Really like this one. We have a, a Mulak. Mulak. Uh, eyeshadow Palette. Really like this one as well. But I just don't go for it that often. I used to be obsessed with red eyeshadows, as you guys know, but I'm not that crazy anymore. <laughs> Um, the Avatar Colourpop collaboration, no. We have a Colourpop fade into hue, whoa. I have totally forgot about this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Let's just get rid of these. We have more Anastasia palettes. And uh, I already know that I'm going to keep all of these. I use them quite a lot. 
Uh, I just love how many shades you get. I pretty much love everything about them except for the packaging. I don't like how like just heavy they are. We have the Lime Crime Pocket Candy eyeshadow palettes and these ones I've just kept for so long. I have not used them for years. They're just so cute, but I think it's time to get rid of these. We have the Clueless As If eyeshadow palette. No, gonna get rid of this. We have the Melt uh, eyeshadow stack. These ones, I don't know if I will ever be able to get rid of. Let's do something about them. We have another, the Border Shop that I'm gonna keep. Uh, the Tarte Baby Bloom. Nope, gotta get rid of that. We have the NYX Brights that I love. We have a Revolution Looney Tunes. These are probably not available and I'm just not gonna use something that you guys cannot get. Probably the same with the Corpse Bride Revolution palette, but this is just something special and the palette is just so cute, so I have to keep it. We have a Beauty Act palette that is cute, but I also think that is a limited edition. We have two more Looney Tunes collections with Revolution. Uh, this is like really, really cute, this palette. Like I really, really like it. If it is still available, I'm gonna keep it. If it's not, I'm gonna get rid of it. We have the Cosmify Iconica which is actually really cute. Uh, if you didn't know, I created my palette with Cosmify. It's a Italian brand that collaborates a lot with uh, Italian creators. And from what I've understood, every single shade is made by a Italian creator. So that's really cute. Because of that, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> we have the Too Faced Gingerbread. Nope. We have the Moolak Birthday Suit that I really love, but I'm gonna get rid of that. I would just never use it. Why do I say that all the time? We have two sugar pill palettes. These are um, eyeshadow palettes that you can remove. It's like magnetic, but you can see how dirty these are. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them. Just look how cute these shades are. Lime Crime Venus XL. Nope. We have the Neve Cosmetics Duochrome. This I used to love, I don't know what it is about them but they are so cool all of these shades this one i love so i'm gonna keep it you guys know i do not support jeffree star or jeffree star cosmetics anymore i just don't like him as a person and it's one of those brands that are very connected to the creator i did get rid of pretty much all of my jeffree star products before but i kept these because I felt like maybe I will use them still, but no. Pretty much all of these eyeshadow palettes, I will look through them. And some of them that I've used a lot, I will just throw away. But then I will probably give away most of them to family and friends and last give them away to uh, my neighbors because I did that like a year ago or so and all of them were taken after like a few minutes. So yeah then we have the absolute last of the eyeshadows here we have a small natasha denona palette <sighs> never gonna use that then we have the urban k uh <laughs> game of thrones palette i'm like never gonna use <laughs> this but it's just something about it like it's just so cool i'm not gonna get rid of this <laughs> Then we have some of my C palettes. If you didn't know, um, like a few years back, it was so big to uh, get these like magnetic um, cases and magnetic eyeshadows and just put them all in a palette like this. And I got a lot of single eyeshadows from Anastasia Beverly Hills and therefore I have a lot of them in here. Maybe in a few years it's gonna be big to use C palettes of that again, and then I have three of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep them. Then we have the Beauty Bay Identity 42 color palette. It's just a little bit excessive. 
who am I to talk, but like, no. That was all of the eyeshadow palettes. Now let's get into the drawers. And the first drawer is concealers. It used to be only concealers, I think. And now it is concealers, some uh, like multi products, like blushes, cream blushes, and like these sorts of like lightening products, highlighters. I don't know. It's a little bit all over the place. I really want to get rid of so much <laughs> that I can actually see where these dividers are. Just gonna put it there. Okay, first off, I see this KVD Lock It Hydrating Primer. I really like this, so I'm gonna keep it. We have the Milk Sunshine Under Eye Tint. Not loving this, but I don't dislike it, so I'm gonna keep it. This one I really did not like at all. This is the Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. It was like a little bit dry. I really did not like it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is actually a tester, so I'm gonna keep that. Here we have a highlighting stick. Oh, that was actually pretty. It looked way darker here from Hourglass. I was just gonna say that I'm gonna throw it away, but maybe not. That is pretty. We have a highlighter. This is the uh, Anastasia Pink Diamond Highlighter. I kind of did not love this. This one I like a lot more, so I'm gonna get rid of that. These Cheek Dew from Colourpop I did not like, and whoa. I don't know if you can see, but it's like shifting inside of here. So I'm gonna get rid of that. We have the Board This Way and Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. I really didn't love these ones, so I'm gonna get rid of it. We have a Hourglass Blush. Yeah, that was pretty. And I really, really like the packaging. We have the, the Bodshop Vitamin C Concealer. I am for sure gonna keep some of these, but I have quite a lot of shades. Okay, I'm gonna keep Fair 1W and Light 1W. All of the Bear With Me concealers from NYX Professional Makeup. I love these ones, so I'm gonna keep all of them. Then we have the Born To Glow from NYX Professional Makeup. Um, I don't remember if I love these that much, but I don't like the applicator that much. It just gets messy and feels a little bit unhygienic, so I'm gonna get rid of them. We have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealers. I don't like It Cosmetics. I don't understand why people love it so much. The Molac ones, gonna get rid of. Becca. Nope. The RCMA, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> the Milk Flex Concealer. Love milk, but this one did not work for me. Uh, the Rare Beauty. This was uh, probably the worst concealer I've ever used in my entire life. The Fresh New Serum Concealer from The Body Shop. I think that these are discontinued, pretty sure. Uh, Revolution Concealers. Don't think I liked it that much. We have a cream uh, concealer from Glossier. I really don't like cream um, concealers because they crease like crazy on me. The NYX Professional Makeup Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Don't love these, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Beauty Act, get rid of. Another Revolution, get rid of. These ones I used in a video not very long ago. These are the Tarte creaseless concealers and I still don't love them so I'm just gonna get rid of them. <laughs> it's time, you know? A guitar shape tapes I'm for sure going to keep. Let's see what we have back here. We have a NYX Professional Makeup Glitter Primer here. I'm gonna keep that. A The Body Shop Concealer I'm gonna get rid of because it's not sold anymore. We have a Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I think I'm gonna keep that. Another NYX. The Fenty 
Pro Filter Eye Primer. I actually don't remember if I like these, but I don't think so. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, this is another Urban Decay. Let's see if one is opened. Maybe I can get rid of that. That looks opened. And this looks also opened. Hmm. I would just keep both of them and I would check next time I do my makeup. We have a Milk Future Fluid. You guys know if you saw the uh, a video that I reviewed these. I don't love them particularly. But I also don't dislike them, so I'm gonna keep them. We have a unopened Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. So this one I can actually give away. We have a Eden Minerals Perfect Under Eye Concealer in Extra Light. I actually really like this one, so I'm gonna keep that. Let's put those back. We have a Dr. Pawpaw Tinted uh, Balm gonna get rid of even though i really like it but it's just not for me another anastasia pink peachy keen this one i did really like the rare beauty in grace these ones i mean i love them so i'm gonna keep whoops all of them the rum beauty this is pretty much the only product that i like from them it's not my favorite shade I like these sorts of colors a lot more, but I like the consistency of it, so I'm gonna keep that. I am sitting and editing, and yes, I'm seeing that I am saying that I'm gonna keep something, and then I throw it away. But luckily, I have not thrown anything away yet, so I've like picked everything up. Fenty Beauty, I really like that one. Sunset Orange Lip and Cheek Stain, these are uh, discontinued and um, repackaged, so I have the new one, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Another Rare Beauty, XC Under Eye Brightener, gonna get rid of. This one I'm gonna get rid of. This Nabla I really did not love. Why do they look so pretty now when I'm swatching them? No, I'm gonna get rid of that. Kinda like the Rem Beauty, but yeah, I'm not gonna... No, I'm gonna get rid of that. We have some milk, gonna keep that. Another milk, gonna keep that. Milk uh, Bionic Blush, did not like. Another one. Then we have the Software Blush from Lime Crime. These ones are so, so old and very dry. Probably see, it's so dry on the sides. So I think I'm gonna get rid of all of these. We're gonna find some more of those in the other drawers. And here we have a lot of things that I'm gonna get rid of. So let's just speed this up a little bit. is really disgusting so I'm gonna get, get rid of that and just put a new one out here there we go and these two I love the tart shape tape so I do have I'm gonna keep the unopened ones right there and this is the magic touch concealer I do have the magic touch concealers at my workstation my table <laughs> because this is my current favorite concealer or my favorite concealer pretty much of all time, to be honest. So I probably already have number two. That's right, I probably have it still open. I have two shades uh, back there, but I'm just gonna look it up and have the one there. Okay, let me just clean out these a little bit. We will probably fix this a little bit because I do have the other drawers uh, being blush drawers as well. So we'll see if we will like to reorganize it a little bit. And here is primers and highlighters. Let's start with the REM one. I am just 
not gonna use this. It's just, no, nope, I'm not gonna. Let's speed this up a little bit again, and I will show you guys what I will throw away. I will put the things I will throw away here, and another thing that I will uh, keep, like here, where you guys cannot see. Okay, that was a lot. I've been swatching so, so much. We have the next professional makeup uh, highlighters from the um, La Casa de Papel collection. They were just not that cute, <laughs> to be honest. And I'm also going to throw away the um, Ilavari highlighters. This one, uh, this one, this one, and uh, these ones. It's not like I dislike all of these, but I would just, like primers, you guys know, I'm not a huge primer fan. And uh, a lot of these are just like, I don't know, like I would love to keep this Beetlejuice one, but this is not the shades for me. And also like this one, I think is so, so pretty, this highlighter but I just hate the packaging of it. And I kind of think that this is discontinued or like this whole brand is like not even alive anymore. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. A lot of these. I found some uh, Wet n Wild. I do not use Wet n Wild anymore. I know that Wet n Wild is a little bit uh, unclear, but I don't want to use them. So that is my personal, um, personal belief. We have some Anastasia ones. You guys saw the Juvia's Place. I'm just gonna show you guys once again. Look. <laughs> I hope that you guys can see. Every time I open it, it's even more destroyed. Uh, some more highlighters. These highlighters I've had for so freaking long. I never use them. I hate loose things. Loose highlighters, loose powder. Ooh. Yeah, do not like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This door was a huge success. Like, oop, this one, for example, I used to love, but it's just, I don't know, I would just not go for it anymore. I also loved the Inglot highlighter before, but this is loose again. I would just never open it because opening a loose highlighter is just begging for disaster. <laughs> so here we have everything that I'm going to keep. Oh, this feels so nice. So here we have primers and then liquid highlighters here. Whoa, <laughs> that is a huge success in my opinion. Next one. Here we have blushes. You know what? That's right. Now we can put these highlighters. Um, here. Whoops. Here instead. All right. This is now full. A new one. Let's get started. We have some about face that I love. I'm not gonna get rid of any of these. I have some Lynn Halberg that I really love. And then I have the Tarte ones that I 
really really love as well uh, other than that i feel like we're gonna get rid of a few although you guys know that i'm a blush hoe <laughs> so i'm probably not gonna get rid of as many stuff as the highlighter drawer Uh, we have mascaras here in the middle and then it used to be colorful eyeliners here on this side and then only black and brown eyeliners on this side um, but it's as you guys can see it's not like that anymore <laughs> so let's just get started unfortunately I can't use these power liners from uh, gloss cause because they are not waterproof at least not evelina's waterproof <laughs> so i'm just gonna get rid of all of these sorts of liners all right i'm gonna put the things again that i'm gonna keep on one side and then the other ones i'm gonna show you guys what i'm getting rid of like all of my Inglot gel liners I just never use gel liners anymore and they're extremely old I also have some brow soaps here I never use brow soaps if I don't remember when I opened a mascara I am now throwing it away because it's probably been years when I get a new mascara I should just throw the old one away but yeah we have a lot a lot of eyeliners here some like glitter eyeliners that I know I got like my first year doing YouTube. Some freckle pens. Loads and loads and loads of mascaras. And all of this was also in the back. So let's just go through it quickly. And I do think I can change up a few of the things. I have some hourglass eyeliners will never use that unfortunately i have a lot of these uh freestyle multi pens from the bot shop that i really like and so i'm from about face these are like big and chunky eyeliners um it's really good for like a smoky eye or something we have the kennedy i wonder where the barbie is but these ones i'm going to keep then we have a brand new Happy Go Lash. Let's see if this, yeah, this is open. So I'm just gonna go throw that away and keep this one. A new Swede. 
So then I can get rid of this old one. I really, really, really love this one. Uh, I'm just gonna put them like this here in the drawer so I know that it's completely unused. Then let's see, we have two Epic Ink liners in brown. So then I can get rid of this one. Just gonna open it up. I don't think that I have any of these open, but I am going to keep it here in the back just so I know that they are completely unused. So let me organize this by being colorful uh, liners. And then we have black and brown eyeliners right here. And then mascaras, as you guys saw in the middle. So these mascaras are either some of my favorites or just mascaras that I know I just opened up. So the only two gel liners that I'm keeping is the um, Inglot, the Powerpuff Girls, <laughs> because it's just really cute and it's so small. And the magnetic one from Ardell. We have a lot of these colorful ones from Fenty Beauty. They are starting to become quite uh, dry, unfortunately, but I just don't have heart to get rid of them. Some NYX Professional Makeup brown and a black one this is a black one a blue one we have these two from milk one that creates a star a or no a moon stamp and this one's that give a uh, star stamp then i have the interstellar this is more of a liquid eyeshadow this one i probably put somewhere else i'm just gonna put it up here all right so this drawer is kind of hard because i change up my hair color so often so i kind of need to have multiple brow products and brow shades uh like these ones from kvd i've used so much and i'm gonna keep all of them so let me go through it and then i will show you guys what throwing away because i'm probably going to keep quite a lot Okay, so there were quite a lot that I had to get rid of because they were just so dry, a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them are liquid and uh, like felt tips and stuff like that. So yeah, it was just a lot that had to go, unfortunately. <sighs> then this drawer is also a huge mess. This is my foundation drawer. When it comes to foundation, it really comes down to what kind of mood I am. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot. The second skin from the body shop, I really want to love these, but they are just not working for my skin tone at all. But I think I'm gonna keep one. So this, uh, this middle one I'm gonna keep. Enon Mineral Illumin Illuminating one, I'm gonna get rid of. These ones I really like, but I do not need this many. Maybe not. This is completely unopened, so I can get rid of that. Two of these I can keep, right? I really love Herborium, but I don't remember loving this one. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Then we have the Milk one in Chell that I love. This one from Beauty Act, gonna get rid of. All right, I am so sorry to tell you guys this, but apparently uh, some of the files have been uh, disrupted. They're not here when I'm editing this video. So quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys what I am removing from my collection with the foundation drawer and the bronzer drawer. Here is the bag. We have the Becca Skin, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. All of the NYX Professional Makeup Total Control Drops. The Shade and Light Contour Palette from KVD. The RCMA Foundations that I hate. <laughs> the NYX Bear With Me, Didn't Like, The Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Not a huge fan anymore. This e.l.f. one is called the Oil Free 
sunscreen foundation, I guess. But it's the wrong shade. But other than that, I absolutely love this. Then I am giving away a lot of the uh, fresh new foundations from the body shop. You guys know that it is one of my absolute favorite foundations, but I have every single shade. I got these when I did a collaboration with them. So these ones I've only like swatched on my arm. So I am giving these away. We have the Tarte Amazonian Clay and Rainforest of the Sea. Don't love any of these that much. The Nabla Close Up. Then we have the Rare Beauty that I absolutely hate, again, just like the concealer, it's just the worst. Um, the uh, stick foundations from Anastasia, I think that they are a little bit too dry. Makeup store that, from what I've understood, together with Becca, is not even a brand anymore. <laughs> the old Fresh Nude from the Body Shop. And we have Luminae. Luminae is one of those brands that is really, really good, but only for people that have my skin color. So I'm getting rid of those. We have some contours from Cosmify, Makeup Store, Sol, which I think is Colourpop's own brand, The Body Shop, Kaya, Beauty Act, and Indie Beauty. Eden Foundation, we have the Revolution Conceal and Define. Uh, this bounce foundation from Beauty Blender. I absolutely love the formula of this, but I hate the packaging and I'm just not gonna use it. The Fresh Nude whoop, Powder Foundation from The Body Shop. I think that these are discontinued and they have a new one that you guys will see afterwards. I will show you guys every drawer when it's completely organized in the end. So you guys will see what kind of products I am keeping. Then the foundation from Anastasia. Everybody loves this one, but I've never really gotten the hype. Glossier that I think is too thin. We have the Born to Glow, and then we have the It Cosmetics that I also don't like. I obviously used to use liquid lipsticks the most, therefore I have them up here, but maybe I should just change it up and have my lip glosses up here because lip glosses is what I use the most. So we have Nabla, which used to be my favorite lip gloss liquid lipstick brand oh my god i can't talk so let's just go ahead and swatch most of them some of them i just know that i don't want anymore this one i used to love okay that does still look good this is a blue oh, this used to be one of my favorites as well this is probably dry yeah this is super dry as you guys can see this one, throw away that. This looks fine. This one I can get rid of. That one I can get rid of. That one as well. That one as well. Black champagne. Okay, you know what? We should have at least one black liquid lipstick. And if any, it's going to be Nablas. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that one. And get rid of... This is probably dry as well. Yep, that's dry. This used to be one of my favorites called Rumors. Then we have this red. Okay, that looks fine. Let me get rid of that. Gonna get rid of that. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, let's get rid of those two. So these are all of the Nabla ones I am going to keep. I'm going to keep them up here as I'm going to uh, put them somewhere else. Now for the KVD ones. I think I'm just gonna keep like this. It's one of my favorites. But these are very old. Maybe I will keep the pink one a red one and then maybe Lovecraft and Lolita these two and maybe this red one as well Lolita 2 as well yeah all of these I'm going to get rid of I swatched all of uh, the shades that I am keeping and they all I look really good so yes I'm going to still keep all of those now we have all of the Anastasia ones so give me a second to go through the Anastasia ones and the lime creme ones uh, and then I will show you guys the ones that I'm keeping
So these are the Anastasia liquid lipsticks that I'm keeping. We have Trust Issues, uh, Sapphire Rio, Rio? <laughs> Stripped, uh, Dolce and American Doll. And then from Lime Crime, we have Sparrow, Salem, Cashmere, uh, Raven, Teddy Bear, Wicked and Red Velvet. Because here we have some more liquid lipsticks. All of the Fenty ones I'm going to keep because I love these ones. These ones from Lime Crime I've never liked, unfortunately. They are just like a very li liquidy, almost watery consistency. So I think I'm gonna like get rid of all of them. The Sugar Pills liquid lipsticks I've never liked. Or I like them, but they're just been so dry. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of these. Then we have the Soeva. I really, really like uh, this kind of liquid lipstick. Am I ever going to use these shades? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those. We have some Moolak and we have some sleek makeup. These, you guys, my god. Used to use these so much before. Get rid of all of them. I think I'm just gonna get rid of all of those. And then we have one from Revolution and then I'm also gonna get rid of. Then we have more liquid lipstick. <laughs> uh, this is not only liquid lipsticks though. As you guys can see, I have some of the About Face um, like multi cream products. These ones from Lime Crime, I never liked and I'm pretty sure they are not available anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, the tart ones. Hmm. No, I'm gonna get rid of that. We have some freestyle multi-use colors from the body shop here that I can keep. Some uh, Linda Halberg. These ones are so, so pretty. They're like a liquid lipstick, but they look glossy. So we have some Colourpop and a Smashbox. Smashbox is so pretty and Colourpops are also really cute. So let's just put them there instead. Smooth Whip one I love. These are the ones that I was just throwing away, but uh, the new packaging. So the lip and cheek tints from the Body Shop and I love these. And we have all of these matte lip liquids from the Body Shop. These, or most of them I think, are discontinued. <laughs> but I love them so much. But let me just go ahead and get rid of a few shades. Have you? Yeah. So here we have the lipsticks, also one of the lip products that I don't really use that much. This I've actually used quite a lot, <laughs> but I'm gonna get rid of that, the Urban Decay Game of Thrones one. Uh, we have a lot of the Anastasia ones. I really like these though. I'm gonna get rid of that, the Rum Punch. I'm gonna get rid of that, not my color. Way too light for my style. Toffee. No. Uh, rose brown. No. Soft brown. Nope. American doll. Yes. Let's keep that. Blackberry. Nope. Oh, this one was pretty. Royal Red. I'm gonna keep that instead of the American Doll. We have Dusty Rose. Yes. Taupe Beige. Yes, sure, we can keep you. Peach Bud. Okay, yes. Praline or Praline? I don't know. Nope. Sun Baked, which is my favorite, um, one of my favorites, favorite lip liners. So yes, I'm gonna keep that one. Blush brown, no. Warm taupe, no. 
And I think that these are the old ones from Anastasia, right? Or is it just like another... Maybe these are matte and these are matte. Mm. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> but no. Mm. No, I think that we're gonna get rid of all of these. I really do think that these are like the newer ones. Uh, the La Casa de Papel lipsticks. Gonna get rid of. We have a Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, let's keep it just because I have only one. The Rem Beauty, we can keep Too Faced, get rid of. We have two from Nabla. Nope. Then we have all of these Fenty ones. I've always thought that they are a little bit too dry. So I'm actually thinking I will get rid of all of them. Not something that I would use, to be honest, anymore. You guys can probably notice that I'm like keeping one dark red <laughs> out of every uh, brand, a pink, and then like a true, true red. That's like the colors that I usually use. We have all of the Linda Halbert ones. I'm gonna keep all of them. Then we have the NYX Professional Makeup Suede Matte Lipsticks. Pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of all of these, to be honest. I don't even think that they are still available. Two from the Bod Shop, nope. This one from Urban Decay, I really, really like, so I'm gonna <laughs> still keep it. So there we have those, and now, yes, this is the worst drawer of them all. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Look at all of that. For example, we have the Juvia's Place lip glosses that are some of my absolute, absolute favorites. So let's just put that up here. And then we have, uh, we have the Anastasia ones. That I think I'm gonna keep most of them. Or you know what, I'm seeing now that I'm for sure not going to keep most of them. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, these one. These are just glosses that I will not use. I absolutely hate this, like, or will I like this? No, I won't. And this one. Okay, so here, oh, that one I'm also going to get rid of. Um, that one. I want to keep all of those. Uh, these next ones I love. And I'm also going to take all of the butter glosses. Then I'm gonna take all of the Fenty lip glosses. Also some of my absolute favorites. Revolution Shimmer Bomb in uh, Luster. This is actually really, really pretty. These ones from Nabla are kind of like a mix between a gloss and a liquid lipstick. I love them. So these ones I'm probably going to like put here, I think, where it, it's more suitable to be here by the liquid lipsticks. These Lime Crime ones I actually really like. So I think I'm gonna keep all of those. We have the Winx X Color Pop that I really, really like as well. All of these Trixie ones. I really like these ones. I don't know if I should keep all of them though. Not this gold one. Not this. I don't even know. Is it like pearlescent? Is that the right word? I really don't like. But these more like hollow. Really pretty. That look dry, that looks a little bit too light, shimmery, no, 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 this one I'm gonna keep. And I'm just having like some random ones, these are uh, strictly vinyl and liquid lipsticks, uh, or suede. From NYX professional makeup, I'm gonna get rid of these lingerie push-up ones. I'm gonna get rid of, and this one striptease. 
so old. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. The powder puffs I'm gonna get rid of. Soft matte metallic lip creams I'm gonna get rid of. Throw away, throw away, throw away, throw away. Throw away these. Whoops. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. All right. Okay, so on these two, I only have um, male products and more male products. Here, I just have a little bit of everything. So I'm just gonna get rid of it and the things that I don't want I'm gonna put here beside me and then I will show you guys what I remove Are some of the things I'm gonna get rid of these ones as well these ones and lastly these ones and this mirror so now let me just go ahead and like fix a little bit and then I will show you guys all of the drawers once again and uh, then we're done up here as you guys can see it's very empty right now as I have put some of the eyeshadows inside of here don't know if that was a good choice but also i just love not having that much here and also i wonder if i should get my tattoo stuff in here so i don't have to have them like out you know so yeah i just have like the eyeshadow palettes that i use the most so trixie anastasia and anastasia and the um, Julie's place and then this drawer all right, so we're gonna do this next part handheld. So I'm holding the camera right now. So excuse if it's a little bit shaky, but I have now put my foundations up here. Uh, I have three foundations back there. Uh, and back there I have some like mixing liquids and uh, glitter primers and stuff like that. And then here in the middle, we have all of the powders and then we have concealers there. It's just really nice to have like a base drawer. And as I don't have that many foundations anymore, I could just have them here, I felt like. Then we have primers, uh, liquid highlighters and powder highlighters. Then we have liquid blushes on this row. We have more like cream blushes here in the middle uh, some in the back there as well powder blushes and yeah here in the back we have some unopened products just laying there waiting to be opened when i need anyone here we have some colorful eyeliners here we have mascaras and black and brown eyeliners oh no i have not done anything in the back there i see a lot of like brow freezes okay so the things in the back probably going to throw away most of that gonna do that afterwards here we have some brow gel here we have some pomades uh mostly colorfuls and here we have brow powders and brow pens and here where i used to have all of my foundations i now have a bunch of my eyeshadow palettes. I don't know. Well, I will probably like redo this a little bit. It looks so empty, <laughs> but here we have some blush palettes and some bronzers and uh, contour palettes and stuff like that. So yeah, that is that for this Alex drawer. 
Now this one. So here we have some of my favorite glosses. We have some uh, NYX Professional Makeup there. Uh, Juvia's Place, we have some Anastasia, Fenty Beauty, a Lime Crime, and some, what is that? Is it Colourpop? No, it's Revolution, I think. So we have uh, that, and here I also have some of my favorites. So we have some Hourglass, we have some Colourpop, we have some Trixie, and then we have some random ones that I just have like one of. Liquid Lipsticks. Multi colors. We have some Linda Halberg, Colourpop, Nabla, About Face. These are my multi products. Um, the Body Shop, NYX Professional Makeup, Fenty, and uh, Smashbox. And here we have lip sticks. So we have some Trixie, The Body Shop, uh, Linda Halberg, Sugar Pill, Anastasia, Mulak. We have one. Charlotte Tilbury, <laughs> Ram Beauty, Milk, and what were these? Snub, I think. Right. Here is the liquid lipsticks now, and I put pretty much all of my lip liners. So here you guys can see I love lip liners. Uh, I have more by my desk also. Here we have Nabla, The Body Shop, KVD, Anastasia and Lime Crime. And we have one little Smashbox lipstick right there. And here is my like random drawer. A bunch of glitters and just some like, I don't know, random stuff. All right, so that is it. I just put the camera on top of my drawers now because I don't feel like putting it on the tripod. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I feel so good <laughs> after every decluttering video. It's kind of a weird feeling because it's like, it's hard in the beginning, but then afterwards it just feels so nice. And hopefully a lot of the things that I have decided to remove from my collection would probably or hopefully be very much loved in someone else's collection. So yes, that is it. Have a great day and uh, subscribe if you have not already and like this video if you like these sorts of decluttering videos. Have a wonderful day and hopefully we will see each other in the next video. Bye guys!